Hey, what is up guys, Abhik here, back with another video and um, today I was just surfing around the internet to find something and I found a really good thing. Well, it's a custom ROM and I did not expect this this soon, like, I didn't ever. So, it's the Cyanogen Mod 13 Unofficial. So, it is, it is not from CyanogenMod.org, but it's from uh, the couple of developers who has done really well in the uh, uh, past couple of years. So, one is from Sultan XDA, and he does great for uh, Cyanogen mods. I did flash one of his ROMs and then uh, flashed the uh, original ones. And uh, other is from Tuga Power, which I never tried before, but um, according to what he says, he has done great. So, according to AS, AOSP, okay, the build of uh, the Marshmallow for the OnePlus One, it didn't have now on tap, it couldn't work on um, the networks, it couldn't work on Wi-Fi, it didn't open up the camera, it didn't open up all the apps, but it's a lot more stable now. I, I just uh, couldn't um, believe it's a lot more stable. Now on tap works on uh, the uh, Tuga Power RAM, camera works excellently in uh, Sultan's RAM, and uh, the uh, whatever the network signals are all excellent uh, Even LTE is supported in the marshmallow ROM, so it's not up to date yet But it's enough to go for the daily driver So be the first guy to subscribe to my channel and not the first guy uh, Be the first to see all my videos about the couple of ROMs uh, After you subscribe to my channel, so please do that subscribe to my channel. It's just there down below. It's the right button so Today we'll be talking about those two ROMs, just this is an overview of whatever is coming up. Let's get started. So at first, when you head on to the link in the description box below, you'll be greeted with OnePlus Forms. So the OnePlus Forms is where you'll find all these freakish ROMs for the OnePlus One. So this is again, as I told you, it's built by Sultan XDA. Uh, I'll be checking an overview of this ROM first. So, he says that this is a really good ROM actually. He has a nightly sources and, uh, well, according to him, this is a well uh, encountered and stable ROM. So, first, what he says is, this is a pre-rooted ROM. So, you, need, you don't need to install the Super HCU again and not all those crap, it's just uh, pre-rooted. So, the second thing he says that, it has OTA updates built in with the Cyanogen updater. Um, this was available in 12.1, uh, the unofficial build which I did reviews a couple of months ago. And the legacy continues here too. So you can read all the stuff, blah blah blah, it's all pretty good. And there is a big subtle change here. The camera will not be awful anymore. It'll, it's gonna come back to the Oxygen OS camera and it's not Google camera anymore, it's Oxygen OS 2.0's camera back on this ROM. He's, he did port it really well actually, I never expected this to happen. So, uh, there is also another app, uh, CyanogenOS um, camera is no more, but you have Snapdragon camera app built in now. So you have two cameras to work with, you can choose any of them. It has capability to shoot 4K and 1080p too. Well, uh, 4K is not yet supported, sorry for the wrong information, but it has slow motion support up to 120 FPS. Um, 60 FPS at 100, I mean 1080p and uh, 120 FPS at 720p. That's the maximum uh, uh, slow motion video you can, you can record in here. So, you can, f you can take videos up to 1440p accordingly, you cannot just go for UHD or DCI. It is coming with uh, the Snapdragon camera. Um, uh, it, it isn't supported actually. And the second thing he, he does is uh, if you can download the Cyanogen camera, you'll be getting 4K UHD or DCI resolutions. So that's good. That's basically really good. 
So slow shutter and everything works accordingly and kernel sources are pretty good for the RAM too. It's not of the official kernel source, instead it's built for C-A-F-L-A, it's Kafla according to my spell, and it's 1.1.3 uh, uh, build, so it's gonna be like kinda stable kernel source, but I don't think you can uh, use this ROM yet because it's uh, not that stable yet. 1.1.3, it needs a lot more improvement. So, uh, everything is pretty good according to me. Uh, it has every single support. And this ROM, unfortunately, doesn't support now on tap. Or those both, is not supported in this ROM. Well, I hope the developer gets to it pretty good. And uh, if he gets to it, it's pretty good. And according to him, what he says, uh, here in the bugs page, the now on tap works, but um, you need to uh, be a little bit more cautious every time you boot it, boot into this RAM. So uh, what he says is you have to turn on software keys, turn on now on tap, disable software keys, and then use hardware keys for the now on tap. Well, that's a bit complicated. Why do you go for it? I don't think so. Yep. And there are a lot of bugs here. First one is the now on tap doesn't work. And you don't have a um, custom kind of uh, recovery to it. You have to flash in TWRP or uh, whatever recovery you're comfortable with. It doesn't have stack recovery kind of stuff. So it is not updated to uh, SuperSU, the latest version. So you can download and flash it again. It's, that's pretty awful. According to them, he says that this is pre-rooted. Well, that's all right. So... Facebook FC doesn't work anymore. Man, that is okay. Then uh, the changing in battery notification that is, you get the light over here. That, oh man, did I just okay? One sec, please. And the battery notification which you get here, the LED light doesn't work. Well, it works, but uh, you don't, it doesn't have color shifts, it has some white or some colors. And the battery life according to them is mm, way better or seems to be a bit better than Lollipop. Uh, in the other, uh, in his original site he said that it's way better than Lollipop, but I oh, don't know, okay. Let's see it. So uh, titanium backup doesn't work. It's like hit or miss this time. Um, for all you guys who does it like lazily with titanium backup, you're gone. So multi RAM is working according to kernels okay that's fine so things are pretty good according to me so this is not a daily driver ROM that's what they say in the last point over here and things doesn't matter all that much if you can't use this as a daily driver so there are UI, UI crashes a lot of UI crashes there is a huge kind of uh, drain in battery when you're using with Wi-Fi and that sucks that basically sucks so this was all about the Sultan's RAM build. Let me take it over to uh, the other build from Tuga Power. Let's go there. So Tuga Power RAM is just there, a little bit further below, and it's version four of uh, CM13 is building. Well, I never thought. Okay. So Chainlock says that uh, it it doesn't need to convert your partitions anymore. Uh, just uh, F2FS will be fine for you. Um, the G apps after uh, the flashing was not working, but um, it is working after all now. So he's really been into scratching bugs, and that's really good. So uh, long press buttons, it's working. Now on tap is working. Now on tap is working. Oh man. So there is dose for after all. Dose. D O Z E. Well, it's working. So the bug is the bug. The camera freaking doesn't work. There is no camera. If you can live with camera, if you uh, really can live without camera, you can download this and flash it. 
Well, thought of flashing this, but but camera, oh man, that's awful. Camera doesn't work, except that everything's working, and you can just go to this uh, main here, and you can just download the RAM and flash it. So this is a real good RAM, actually. It is way, way more uh, stable than uh, what you were getting on uh, the Sultan's RAM. It's pretty much more good, actually. And it has great reasons for you to flash it. It has pre-root, it has support for uh, multi-ROMs, it has uh, uh, pretty much every single um, whatever the features you get on uh, the Marshmallow for Nexus, you, you'll be getting on this ROM. That's pretty like dope. Yeah, it's dope. So you have a couple of LG's features too, like XFAT, that's um, LG's like basically and it's mentioned somewhere. Yep, here we go. LG G4 Yep, it's from LG G4 and that's uh, pretty good as per their concern. So The bugs is only like crap. It doesn't work. The camera is awful Only the camera is the bug here and anti-privacy According to what they're telling is privacy is a content here After all is it possible in marshmallow? Well, I don't know. Well, if they if they say it's true, it's true. Okay. So many people did flash and are having good times with it. And uh, 2G, 3G, and 4G all works. Um, that's pretty dope, actually. So here is what you get when you open the camera. That's awful, isn't it? Yep. I don't like it one bit, dude. So come on, fix the cam. So once they fix everything, or uh, once it is ready for uh, the installation, I'll be installing, be the first to see it by subscribing down below. It's just the red button, click on it and you're done subscribing. So if you did like this video, you kind of found it informative, please give it a like and please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching this. For more coverage, again, subscribe and comment.